What's going on people in YouTube land? Kim Chi Chris here and welcome, 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 welcome to today's awesome, grandiose video. And today's video is about something that I went to recently and I saw a lot of you there and a lot of you have been asking, Kim Chi Chris, when are you going to do a video about this? A lot of you while you were there asked me, you saw me with a camera out, Kim Chi Chris, when are you going to do a video about it? You were excited, I'm excited and honestly I'm just going to go free form with this, talking about what happened throughout the weekend, inserting some videos, inserting some photos and that is the Indie Kiss Expo 2008. That is right. It was awesome, 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 awesome. Spoiler alert, it was great. This was an amazing a KISS event. It was one of the best KISS events I've ever been to, and I can only thank the organizers that did it. It basically blew away all expectations. I've been to uh, a couple KISS Expos throughout my life, the most recent one leaving a kind of sour taste in my mouth, but uh, this one, it rescued the situation. It rescued it so very, very much, and... Uh, I'm just going to tell you guys about some of the things that I did there. So uh, we got into Indianapolis uh, Friday night and uh, just kind of hung out. We went to a weird local liquor store and things like that and uh, you can kind of checked out the area. Um, saw some of the people already arriving like Bobby Rock and uh, Chuck from Alice Cooper's band, things like that. That was pretty cool. And uh, you know, just kind of hung out. So. Saturday morning, uh, myself as well as one of my friends, we did uh, the Ultimate Platinum Edition uh, ticket for Saturday where you get to get your picture with Ace and Eric uh, early on in the morning, you get it together and it was included with the ticket. So uh, we basically showed up on the show floor, kind of hung out for a while, we're checking out some of the dealers and then uh, the uh, organizers had a um, big announcement saying, you know, all the VIP or all the Platinum, excuse me, all the Platinum people, get in line for your photos, we're going to get this uh, taken care of, the line should move pretty quickly and guess what, it totally Totally, totally did. Uh, we were in line less than an hour, honestly, I would say. I would say less than an hour, and uh, it was great. We met some cool people. I met some people from uh, the channel. Some of you guys that are watching, I met in line. So uh, if that was you that I met, hi, and uh, leave a comment below saying, hey, I was one of the people you talked to. Uh, so with that being said, when I got in there to uh, get my picture with Ace and Eric, uh, Eric was kind of uh, busting my chops about the awesome shirt I was wearing, which you're probably seeing in the picture right now, or maybe I'll put that video up, who knows? And um, as a result, I got to spend a little bit more time with Ace and Eric because they were both laughing and stuff. I got the classic Ace laugh, hallelujah. That's something I never thought I'd witness in person, especially not being like a, you know, foot away from my face, you know, hearing the classic uh, Ace laugh. Uh, you know, it's kind of a quick photo op and everything. I, I shook Ace's hand afterwards and uh, Eric gave me a fist bump. I guess he's learned that from the school of Paul that you only get fist bumps, uh, but that's okay. And. Uh, it was kind of quick and to the point, but and then we were out, you know, the autographs were later, so uh, it was it was awesome. It was so, so, so awesome. It was great. It was great. It was, it was worth everything. And um, they posted the pictures online just a little bit later, and it was it was great. They put us a couple of them in case you don't like one of them, I guess, so uh, that's pretty cool. And uh, there were even some other photographers in the room taking some kind of candid photos on the side, things like that, so uh, some of those have been popping up, which is uh, a great thing as well. And after that, there was a little bit of gap before they did the autograph session. So uh, my friend and I went and we got our items and uh, met Lita Ford, which was awesome. Uh, Lita Ford was super, super nice and super, super, super amazing. I got her to sign uh, some Runaways records as well as a poster. And uh, I can't even tell you guys how great she was and how cool she was. She was really spending time with people too. Uh, not to an extreme case of making people wait forever, but uh, you know, she spent some time with each person, made them feel good and uh, special and uh, you know, it was a great time and her prices were very affordable for like autographs and pictures and whatnot. Uh, so that was really cool. And uh, after that we kind of hung out a little while in the, the dealer area and stuff and then it was time for autographs with uh, Ace and Eric and uh, similar to what happened with the photos, it was a very quick process but uh, it was ran very well. Basically you had um, put your name on a little post-it note if you want it made out to you and they'd sign it to you. I got Ace to sign a couple things uh, including uh, the solo album from 78 uh, and a uh, Comet poster and a picture of Ace and myself together actually from the last time I met him which was really cool. Uh, so you got to meet him. Uh, he didn't say a whole lot but it is Ace and we all know how he is. He doesn't talk a whole lot but it was still really special to be near him uh, for that long and they made it run really well. You felt like an actual VIP when you were in there. And uh, then went over to the side of the room that was Eric and uh, he was just goofing around with everyone, making jokes and everything. And uh, you do spend a little bit more time with him. He was much more talkative. I got him to sign a couple photos, including one that I took, which was really cool. He asked where it came from and uh, I told him, I was like, I took that photo of you from one of the shows. Aren't you impressed? And he actually did seem impressed. So that was, that was pretty great. That was pretty great. So. Uh, 
after the autograph session with the guys, uh, it was kind of, you know, time to take a little bit of a break. We kind of hung out around the convention. I want to say we got food at some point. I don't know, something along those lines. And uh, kind of goofed around till the later night where there was the main events, uh, the main festivities, and that was the uh, headlining Q's, Q and A's as well as uh, the shows that night. So. For Saturday, you had a uh, Eric Singer Q&A as well as an Ace Frehley uh, Q&A right before they played, and uh, that was awesome. And uh, then you had uh, the Gene Simmons Band, aka the Rock and Roll Residency from Nashville, Tennessee, play a short little opening set uh, before uh, the main event, and they were great. I mean, they did kind of a bunch of covers just like they do in Nashville. They brought Lita Ford up to do Cherry Bomb. That was awesome. So, so, so cool. And uh, they ended their set actually with uh, Almost Human. That was great. And uh, then it was time for the uh, Eric Singer All-Star Band, which featured Ace coming out to do a couple songs with them, uh, as well as Bruce and Bob Kulik um, and uh, all kinds of people. And it was really, really, really cool. Uh, even Chuck from Alice Cooper's band came out. And uh, it was just a great, great time, man. Uh, they did a lot of Kiss songs, a lot of deep cuts. They even did like Tough Love off of Revenge. Uh, that's something that uh, I can't remember who it was, but someone was saying, yeah, I bet it's been 20 years since you did that. And then Bruce corrected them quickly and was like, nope, we've never done that live. So what an amazing, amazing, amazing way to end such an amazing day with a performance you're not gonna get anywhere else. Anywhere else, that was really cool. So Sunday for the con. The next day was the Sunday, of course, and uh, didn't do the uh, Platinum, so there was no reason to really get up early and all that stuff. Just had uh, the uh, regular admission for that day. So I uh, got down there, hung out for a while, checked out, out some more of the dealers and stuff. I uh, went over and met Bobby Rock, which was really cool. Got his book from him, got it signed. What a nice guy. I uh, haven't got a chance to really dig into it yet, but I'm really looking forward to that book and getting it from the man himself, along with some little VIP laminate kind of things from the launch weekend was a really cool little treat. And I'm gonna show all that stuff in detail in a uh, pickups video that I'm gonna do about all the stuff I got, because I got a lot of stuff. And uh, you know, we just kind of hung out for that day. That's what a lot of it was. I got to meet some more of you guys. I took some pictures and uh, talked to some of you guys that said you recognize me uh, either from the channel or uh, quote unquote, that guy from YouTube. And that was really cool really inspiring too so thank you so much anyone that did that said i recognize you or anything thank you so much and uh, of course i saw some of my favorite content creators as well saw like the uh, podcast rock city guys growing up rock uh, saw um kiss faq with all of the books and everything from jillian there and it was it was really cool it was really cool it's always like a family reunion at these kind of things and i'm kind of new new to that community not new to being a kiss fan but new to the creator community and i'm, I'm really glad a lot of those guys are actually embracing me which is, is great if you're one of those guys thank you so much and uh, what what else really happened Sunday oh yeah the later shows at night so similar to the day before there were some Q&A's that kind of led up uh, the two that I really enjoyed were the Bruce Kulik and of course the second ace one those are really cool uh, getting to hear Bruce talk a little bit as well as ace talk a little bit more was definitely a great way to warm us up for the night and uh, then it happened then it happened so Four by Fate was scheduled to play, which is a lot of the comic guys minus Ace, of course. Uh, but it was announced a little bit right before the convention or the expo. <laughs> right before the expo, it was announced there'd be a comic reunion on show on a stage there. I got to see the whole thing, and I mean, it was only two songs. It was Rock Soldiers and Breakout. But man, was it cool to see! Man, was it cool having Anton back there on the drums and and uh, all the guys. It was just. It was, it was a great, great thing to be at, and honestly, I'm not sure it's ever gonna happen again. So even if it was just two songs, it was a really magical thing. And then uh, 4 by Fate played um, some more music. They played some more comment songs as well as some of their original stuff. And then when they were done, it was time for the Kulik Brothers. So uh, Bruce and Bob, uh, along with uh, Eric, I believe, came up. I can't remember if he came up a little bit. I know Brent Fitz played with them too. Um, and Ace, of course, came up. And uh, you know, never thought I'd really see that in my life between the two days in particular, you know, Bruce, Bob, and Ace on stage. Uh, but I did. And it was really great. It was really, really great. And uh, they did, uh, you know, some of the more Ace songs. Uh, I can't remember exactly what they did on each day, but I know between the two days you had, of course, your standards like Cold Gin and Deuce and uh, Shock Me and things like that. And uh, then when Ace was done, the Kulik Brothers took over and they did a ton of stuff from both of their respective eras with the bands. You heard stuff from Paul Solo Records as well as Asylum, Crazy Nights, things like that. And it was really a great 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 way to end the, the expo and after the expo we had a little bit of an after party uh, by accident in our hotel room with some people and if you were there and you know who you were you know it was pretty cool uh, basically we all had a good time and uh, plans were made that I'm a bit invited to go to the Kiss Cruise next year I just don't know if I'll be able to afford it but uh, you know not not 2018 but 2019 but we'll see we'll see uh, with all that being said though talking about plans for 2019 
ending the conversation about this expo, I'm definitely going back to the Indie Expo next year because this thing was incredible. This was such a good weekend. And if the organizers are watching, please, I implore you, make it a two-day event again. The two-day event concept, I think, works a lot better for someone like me, especially, that's traveling from Nashville. So, you know, about a four-hour-ish drive. It makes it more worth it if it's a two-day event, if you ask me, especially if you have exclusive performances like this, Q&As, lots of good photos, lots of good dealers. It was it was great. It was wonderful. I'd give this thing, like, a 20 out of 10. It was, it was amazing. One of the best Kiss events ever. I spent way too much money on merch there, but uh, that's what you do at these things. And... Uh, it was just great. Again, thank you to the people that organized this. Thank you to all the guests. Thank you to all the performers. Thank you to all of the people that attended, all of the people that are becoming fans of me. Can I even say that? It's such a weird thing to say. I even had one person actually said, yeah, you're like a, a YouTube influencer, which I don't consider myself that at all, but thank you for that. And uh, yeah, so thanks to all those people and thanks to you guys if you stuck out this whole video. And if you want more videos like this, hit that subscribe button, hit the alarm, Leave me a comment below, let me know what you thought. Give this video a thumbs up. Once again, my name is Kimchi Chris, and I will see you guys on the next video.